system. Get somebody else to do it. Beyonce is now live at the State Farm Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona for the American leg of her Renaissance World Tour. And when I tell you Phoenix definitely had a problem, you have to believe me. Because just as Beyonce was getting into the groove and feel of it all, for the first time ever on the Renaissance World Tour, there was a technical problem. And this was just not any technical problem, it was the technical problem. And I say it was a the technical problem because Beyonce literally had to shimmy her way out of the stage for a little over 10 minutes to have her team sort out the mess. Oh my god, I am still very shook at what happened, but take a look. Well, I just know she must have been really upset because it had to be really bad for her to leave the stage. Well, I know it was because she literally could not hear the music play and, you know, what else was she supposed to do at that point? Don't answer that. That was rhetorical. Now, even though the queen is so professional and had handled things like her hair getting stuck to a fan, props malfunction, almost falling on stage and actually falling on stage with the utmost grace we could definitely totally understand her taking a moment to breathe reevaluate, and reassess but as we all know the show must go on with beyonce and it sure did when she levitated back on stage after having a mandatory break and she did this in a totally different look and to others, it may seem like a mere costume change, but then again, when has the queen done something that is not well thought out? The structure of this look is very referential to that of a medieval queen, and just like a phoenix in Phoenix, she rises above the difficulties and has slid the house down for real. Take a look. Category. hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is success and today i will be giving you all the juicy tea and details you might have missed from beyonce's show in phoenix arizona you might want to grab a snack for this one because this one is definitely going to get interesting unique there is a new opening outfit on the block and this one is surely bringing sexy back Beyonce opened her show at the State Farm Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona in a custom chromy silver metallic HD metric short dress by The Situationist. And this look reminds me of this Ferragamo look Beyonce has used to perform Church Girl before. And she has paired this with a pair of matching silver gloves, Dolce & Gabbana logo plaque sandals and jewelry from Tiffany & Co. Overall, this look is definitely Metallica terrifique and we sure cannot wait to see what she turns up with in the next city. Take a look. Now, we can all agree that Arizona was definitely on a total mute when Beyonce shimmied off the stage after the sound system failure for a whole 10 minutes. 
however when it came to the actual mute challenge it was definitely a mute chop as the hives in phoenix were not just on their zoom and thus flopped the mute challenge really hard even after they were debriefed take a look <laughs> That was definitely still giving Stockholm Sweden day one. And at this point, I feel like because we've tasted the victory of a total mute in Atlanta, when Beyonce crowned them the winner and said, you're one, you're one, you're one, it's just really hard to settle for anything less. Now, as it stands now, Atlanta Day One still holds the crown for the best mute on the tour so far. And we can just hope that the next city will take a cue from their book and keep on a total mute when the queen demands it. No screaming, no finishing the lyrics, no hollering, none of that. Unique. There was definitely an emergence in Phoenix, Arizona as Blue Ivy is back, back, back again on stage to give us a totally sickening performance and steal the spotlight from the Queen Bee, as she most definitely should. She has showed up on stage this time doing Willow Smith so proud by whipping her Brady ponytail like she just don't care and we're absolutely here for it. This hair choice is definitely taking me back to Beyonce's Tidal performance where she had the exact same style of hair and I don't know about you but this is such a serve on Blue Ivy. Anyway, tonight Phoenix Arizona went haywire for Blue Ivy and I would have it no other way as she served us nothing but pure honey, uniqueness and talent. Take a look. One thing we know for sure is that the queen felt the love in Phoenix, Arizona as she has now maybe crowned them the loudest crowd so far. According to her, she said, you know the certain nights the crowd is so loud that so much charge takes over and makes the power go out. I'm cry laughing right now because at this point she literally just said yo we're really too loud but we're absolutely loving this interaction with the queen bee as she tried to make light of the situation that happened earlier during the show Ooh, she's such a thoughtful queen and that is why we stand here over here take a look you know there are certain lights where the crowd is so loud and so much charge makes the power go out Once again, Beyonce has gagged us a bit for sure as she reminds us that we are indeed the visuals and it shouldn't come as a surprise to us since she has said this once before and you know what? I absolutely believe it now and I cannot be bothered. Well, I guess what they say is true. The queen only moves at her own pace. Take a look. One thing the queen will do is to serve us stunning fashions to tell a visual story. And tonight, it was no different in Phoenix, Arizona, as Beyonce has now debuted a total of four looks apart from the opening looks. And guess what? We're absolutely here for it. However, I have to give a special shout out to the 100 look Beyonce has served us during this tour. She's doing the damn thing and we're absolutely gagging for some more. The first look we'll be talking about is this 
silver chromy number that beyonce uses to sing alien superstar after the technical malfunction and you already know how i feel about this look i feel like it is you know a very standout look i call this look the phoenix look but that's just me i don't know who this is by but when i do find out i'll be sure to leave it in my pin comment the second look i will talk about will be this cozy look and it's also a chromy number it seems like beyonce was really leaning into the silver chromy type look for this part of the tour and i'm absolutely loving this i love how structured this is in the bodice area i love the fashion of it all the third look will be this formation look and it is you know a black look i, I think this is Louise. yeah i think this is the Louise look because we have seen like a variation of this before but in silver but i am liking that this is in a different color and you know it's a 10 over 10 for me now the final look will be this church girl look and it's this gold and black bodysuit number i absolutely love how this fits on her and i love how she moves in it i love the styling of everything and it's just a 10 over 10 for me once again when i do find out the designers of this look i will be sure to leave it in the comment section all right guys we have come to the end of today's video in today's video i gave you all the juicy tea and details you might have missed from beyonce's show in phoenix arizona if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i will definitely be seeing you guys in the next city but for now it is bye au revoir